I guess things are just uh, getting crazy. Last week I spoke about government intervention into junk food and soft drinks. And, to, and now we have another idea about government intervention. You won't even believe this. A very famous, well-known, popular website actually posted an article by a woman, Jennifer Nagy, who suggested that there be a law. Yes, a law. Government should institute a law that if you're not yet 25 years old, you should not legally be allowed to get married. You heard me right. She's actually suggesting that there be a minimum age for marriage 25 years old. Nothing can seem more preposterous to me than that, and not only because I was 21, actually, when I got married. My wife was even younger, and thank God we're doing good. And uh, six, my six, six married children, I think all of them were under 25 when they got married, not only because of that, but that isn't the point. The age of a person is not really what's important in getting married. She says that until you're 25 years old, people are still discovering themselves. Well, that may be true. It also may be true that they're discovering themselves at 35 or 45, and as a matter of fact, some people never, ever get to find out who they are. So that point may be so, but it has nothing to do with age. What it does bring to mind is that Judaism's most important message regarding, regarding marriage is one that some people seem to forget. I was speaking with a woman last week, and she was about to get married. She was uh, engaged, and I simply asked her if her fiancé had the same values as she did. Are they sharing the same value system and structure? You know what? She looked at me. She didn't even know what I was talking about. So, yes, having a age minimum age to get married is a bad idea. But it is a good idea to discover yourself, at least to the extent that you can ask the questions about what's really important to you. What are my priorities in life? And does my spouse-to-be share those same values? No, it's not really about uh, personal attraction or personality or financial status or family. Yes, those things are nice to have. But ultimately, the one deal breaker is do we share the very same values in life? And unfortunately, that fact needs to be repeated again and again, and people need to be reminded. Having a minimum age to get married makes no sense, absolutely ridiculous. But it does make sense to remind people that know yourself well, know your spouse well, and make sure you only get married if you can share those very same values and priorities in life. That's what Judaism teaches us, and that's what makes a marriage great. Agree? Disagree? Maybe you think there should be some kind of minimum age. Either way, it is something to think about.